it is about 420 that's that's the number um, of engineers and a few staff that we've had to part ways with our ex-colleagues um, what happened just trying to put it in a simple way is um, there has been a change in demand in the market demand for engineering talent um, at the heart of it let, let me explain this way I like to use analogies you know when you start a business you start a business to meet a need that is it that's what anybody does you know a need of your customer and so if you're going to be a successful business and you know achieve whatever mission it is you want you're going to have to listen to your customers yeah, you're going to have to get their feedback um, I think one of the things that we probably hadn't done quite as well was listen to our customers really closely so over time we had been our customers had been telling us that we need engineering talent there's no doubt about that the world runs on technology we need engineering talent but we need more experienced engineers um, versatile experience but we kept on bringing in and training junior engineering talent you also have to understand that the market we play in is remote that's one of the things we do our engineers work from their home countries which is i mean that's the great thing about it you don't have to leave your country but then that's a remote job and so our partners are less willing to take junior engineering talent remote than experienced engineers again that's tied to so many things the market over the last few years um the last five ten years there has been a surge of computer science graduates boot camps such as andela I mean, when we started it wasn't that common but there have been so many in the markets that we play in and so what has happened is that they can feel that junior engineering talent domestically and so are less willing to have more of that remote right? it's actually a great thing i mean we're working with cc hub but the truth is i think we're working with the whole of nigeria i'll speak for nigeria since that's where i am because people have reached out to us we have over 90 companies that have reached out wanting to hire our andela engineers right but cc hub um we have a partnership with them and so they are managing the process again we want to make sure that our engineers get placed with companies who are serious about you know their career and um giving them the right work experience and um also want to make sure that our companies here employers also get the talents that they want so cc hub is managing that process and so we even have a form for all any company interested you know cc hub will link we have all our engineers the skills we match it to the requirements they do interviews and all of that and then they'll get this and again to clarify what cc hub is doing since CC Hub doesn't own the engineers. CC Hub is actually doing this because that is what a hub does. So they're actually proving that this is what they do. It's a space where people can come and get connected, you know, to opportunities. That's really literally what they're doing. And so they're even providing free workspace for all our engineers for three months. So the companies have direct access, you know, to the engineers, but CC Hub is sort of like the middle man between that. So again, going back to my analogy of when you start a business, there's a need, right? There's a talent supply shortage worldwide. Particularly, and for us, you would see us in maybe the US, Europe. Again, you go, you move with the demand. It is no secret to anyone. If you look at the top 10 digital companies in the world, I think about nine of them are US based. We're talking about the leading technologies, that kind of exposure which is really what we want our people to have so it's not just about choosing a market for monetary it's also the experience that we want our which we're talking about world-class software developers you become world-class because you you deal with world-class issues and all of that so i think maybe we shouldn't be myopic and think of it just in the now but think about what these engineers at the end of the day these engineers are nigerians First of all, looking at the data, because um, when we say 700, you know, I smile. <laughs> when you think of Africa that has 1.2 billion people, or Nigeria that has 200 million people, 700 really isn't that much. And we have seen that we actually have experienced engineers. Again, that's why I made the clarification about, you're not just talking about maybe 10, 15 years engineers, anywhere from, you know, three years. We do have quite a number of that all across Africa. So really, 700 is just, <laughs> it's it's a small number compared to you know what we do have available so i have i have no doubts in the last year we opened up in egypt and we've been able to grow so fast so many experienced engineers there so